Hello, welcome to the Parish Update. I'm Father Mark, the pastor here at St. John Newman, and this week, on the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time, we hear about Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus is the one crying out because he's blind and wants Jesus to heal him, and Jesus does. But this reading reminds us that sometimes we can be blind to things and that we have to have renewed vision. And today, I'd like to talk to you about the Synod on Synodality, which Pope Francis has called earlier this month. He opened it earlier this month as a two-year process, and it's a worldwide undertaking during which Catholics will be encouraged to submit feedback to their diocese. That feedback will then be put in a report and turned into the U.S. Bishops' Conference of the United States, which will be put in a larger report and turned into the Diocese of Rome, or the seat of Peter. Synology, synology is generally understood to represent a process of discernment with the aid of the Holy Spirit involving clerics, religious, and lay Catholics, each according to the gifts and charisms of their vocation. It's important to know that the word synod is a word that gets thrown around a lot, simply means journeying together. And that's pretty that's a beautiful image to me that the synod on synodality is us all journeying together, the universal church throughout the world. And that all of our um, stories are important. A synod is a meeting that aims to discuss topic of theological or pastoral significance in order to prepare a document of advice or counsel to the Pope. Outreach, communication, support, and encouragement are vital in order to be missionary disciples, says Archbishop Gomez. As with the nature of the Synod, I hope we will learn as we journey together, and I pray that the process will enrich and guide the future path of the, our local church here in Las Vegas, as well as the universal church throughout the whole world over the next two years. Pope Francis goes on to say, when he instituted this synod on synodality, he said that the church is supposed to be uh, in a constant state of restlessness. And he referred to the early church, that her restlessness, and you can see it in the Acts of the Apostles, set them out on mission, mission to the different areas of the Mediterranean to spread the good news. And when we become complacent, we stop growing. And so this synod is an opportunity for us to embrace that restlessness that the Holy Spirit brings us, to listen to the Holy Spirit and the Word of God, to inform ourselves, and talk about important theological or pastoral concerns for the people of the church. May God bless you, and I hope this gives you a little understanding of what's going to be happening over the next two years and in particular in our diocese from now until April. There'll be much more that you'll hear about this in our bulletin, as well as in these updates. God bless and have a wonderful week. As always, when they have a special gathering like this and they start a process of this magnitude, the church comes up with a prayer. And so I'd like to invite you to join me in praying the prayer for the Synod Way. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. A big SJN thank you to everyone who helped prepare and present this year's St. Parade Trunk or Treat. Special thanks to our amazing SJN Youth Ministry for their creativity, vision, energy, and dedication. The decorated trunks, fantastic. Haunted house, extremely cool, of course. Games off the hook. The Saints posters, galleries of true inspiration, costumes, simply fabulous, treats, many. 
A great night of fun for all. See you next year. Coming up is a very special project for our Daily Bread Food Ministry, and that is our Thanksgiving food drive. Our goal is to help families come together during this very special time and present delicious dishes that they can all enjoy. The list of foods that we're able to accept are in the bulletin, so please consider shopping for the pantry on your next grocery shop. We cannot accept turkeys or perishable foods, and thank you in advance for keeping that in mind. Our collection days will be on the weekends of November 6th and 7th and November 13th and 14th. Thank you in advance for helping us help needy families. Dear Liturgical Ministers, Sign-up sheets for Liturgical Ministers for the All Souls and All Saints Day Masses are now available in the Youth Room. Please choose a Mass in which to serve, and thank you so much for your dedication to ministry at St. John Newman. Just a reminder, our parish office will be closed this Friday, October 29th, in celebration of Nevada Day. Get outside and enjoy our beautiful state!